William Demarest was a talented actor known for his expressive face and comedic timing. He appeared in over 140 films and numerous television shows throughout his career. His ability to play a variety of roles made him a familiar face in American households. Now we'd like to hear from you. What qualities do you think make William Demarest a lasting symbol in film and television? Have you ever been inspired by William Demarest's performances or had a moment in your life influenced by his work? What is your most treasured memory or experience related to this beloved actor? Your stories and memories are important to us, so please share them in the comments. Stay tuned, as we have many interesting, surprising, and touching facts about William Damaris to share with you. Keep watching to discover more about this memorable star. William Damaris was a character actor who became a staple in American film and television. Known for his expressive face and distinctive voice, he brought life to every role he played. His career spanned over 140 films and numerous television shows, making him a familiar presence to audiences. Demarest was particularly known for his work with director Preston Sturges, appearing in classics like The Lady Eve and Sullivan's Travels. His portrayal of Uncle Charlie in the TV series My Three Sons endeared him to a new generation of viewers. His talent for combining humor with a touch of roughness made his characters memorable and showcased his skill as an actor. Damaris' ability to adapt to various genres, from comedy to drama, and his consistent performances made him a reliable figure in the entertainment industry and a significant actor of his time. On a sunny day in Hollywood, a crowd gathered to witness a beloved actor receive a star on the famous Hollywood Boulevard. It was a moment of joy and celebration as he greeted everyone with a warm hello, folks. The event was made even more special by the presence of his co-stars from a popular television series, marking it as a memorable occasion in Hollywood's history. Years later, another honor was bestowed upon him, this time in the scenic city of Palm Springs. A star bearing his name was placed among others, commemorating his work and the legacy he left behind. His talent also shone through in the portrayal of a character named Steve Martin, not once but twice in films that chronicled the life of a renowned entertainer. These roles further cemented his place in the annals of film history. From the lively stages of vaudeville to the dramatic scenes of the silver screen, one actor's journey reflects the changing tides of early American entertainment. He found his footing in comedy and drama, bringing laughter and depth to audiences nationwide. His role as Bill Dancing in Whispering Smith mirrored the character dynamics seen in Union Pacific, with both films sharing a focus on railroads and featuring similar plot elements. The portrayal of friendship turned sour, the struggle for redemption, and the inevitable tragedy of a fallen comrade were themes that ran parallel in his performances. Despite the success on screen, not all relationships were smooth off screen, as evidenced by a known disagreement with a fellow actor and singer. This narrative weaves together the professional highs and personal lows of a career that spanned decades, leaving a legacy of memorable performances and a few unresolved conflicts. William Demarest was known for his expressive face and sharp comedic timing, often playing cantankerous characters with a heart of gold. His co-stars admired his ability to steal a scene without a word, relying on his physical comedy to elicit laughter. One memorable quote from Demarest himself sums up his approach to acting comedy as serious business. He believed that the key to comedy was in the earnestness of the performance. Behind the scenes, Demarest was just as lively. During the filming of The Lady Eve, he kept the cast in stitches with his ad-lib lines, which often made it into the final cut. His spontaneous nature brought a unique energy to the set, making long shooting days more enjoyable for everyone involved. Despite his gruff on-screen persona, Damaris was known to be generous and kind-hearted, often mentoring younger actors and offering guidance without expecting anything in return. His legacy in the film industry is not just the memorable characters he portrayed, but also the positive influence he had on his peers. In the quiet of Forest Lawn Memorial Park in Glendale, California, rests a man who lived just shy of 92 years. His final curtain call came on a December day in 1983, marking the end of a life spent in the limelight and the boxing ring, though he seldom spoke of his bouts with the gloves. On the set of The Lady Eve, his rapid speech drew the ire of director Preston Sturges, a man known for his gentle handling of lead actors, but less so for those in supporting roles. This actor faced the brunt of Sturges' frustration, a testament to the high-pressure environment behind the scenes of classic Hollywood productions. In the landscape of comedy, one figure stood out for his distinctive portrayal of gruff but lovable characters. 
His role in Night Has a Thousand Eyes as Lieutenant Sean showcased his ability to bring depth to a character, a talent further highlighted in a radio adaptation of the film. However, it was his portrayal of Uncle Charlie O'Casey in My Three Sons that cemented his reputation. Off screen, his relationship with fellow actor William Frawley was marked by rivalry rather than camaraderie, a dynamic that was evident to those around them during their time on set. Despite the tension, his performances left a lasting impression on audiences and colleagues alike. In the world of early Hollywood, one actor stood out for his memorable roles and unique presence on the set. Sharing the stage with his brother Rube, he carved a niche for himself in the industry. His portrayal as a club member in the Palm Beach story is still talked about, not just for the performance but also for the challenges during production. Director Preston Sturges was known for his insistence on perfection, often halting production until every detail was to his satisfaction. This actor, with his experience in eight of Sturges' films, recalled the director's remarkable memory and attention to detail, noting that even the slightest change in dialogue would prompt an immediate correction. His role as George Fury in Along Came Jones further showcased his versatility, with a performance that was later adapted for a radio broadcast bringing the film's characters to life through the airwaves on December 10, 1945. In the mid-1940s, he took on a significant role in radio, entertaining audiences nationwide. His career took an interesting turn when he joined the cast of a popular television series, stepping into the shoes of a beloved actor. This transition was not without its tensions, as the outgoing actor had formed a strong attachment to the show. Beyond his acting career, he had a passion for golf, sharing his final day with a fellow golfer, marking a unique coincidence in their passing. In his portrayal of Constable Edmund Cockenlocker, he brought a unique authenticity to the role without the need for crafted physical comedy. His natural talent shone through in the numerous falls he executed, earning him the nickname Prattfall de Marist. Before his acting career, he was a professional boxer, which contributed to his strong screen presence. His filmography includes a rare occurrence where he featured in both the original The Jazz Singer and its later recounting in the Jolson story, sharing this distinction with Al Jolson, who appeared in long shots in the latter film. Despite a successful career in Hollywood, William Demarest faced personal tragedy when his wife Estelle Colette Demarest passed away in 1959. This loss came at a time when he was widely recognized for his role as Uncle Charlie in the television series My Three Sons, which added a poignant contrast to his on-screen persona as a gruff but lovable character. The actor, known for his everman appeal and comedic timing, continued to work in the industry, but the sadness of his wife's death remained a lesser-known aspect of his life, overshadowing his professional achievements during that period. 